Hello everybody, I'm I'm here with another video. Uh, I have uh, my friend, my moderator of my my moderator of my live streams, moderator of my channel, Andrew, on the uh, Discord right now, and he will he will be giving us his, uh, his forecasts for the the next two days after I give my forecast. He will give me them quickly. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna start off with mine for Thursday, June twentieth. You can see out in Kansas by Kansas City. Um. Uh, Places like Wichita out here, Wichita, Kansas, or towards Topeka, you have a slight risk of tornado cons of two and two. And then in western Kansas by Dodge City, you have a tornado con of two. Out there, well, we'll talk about that in a second, but then we also have a pretty good marginal risk around here, all the Nebraska down through Texas. But And then we have a, we have a, on the east coast, we have a marginal risk going all the way from New, but to the north of New York City, all the way down through Jacksonville. Um, and then we have a slight risk that goes from southern Georgia all the way up to New York City. Tornado cons of three I have issued in the uh, in southern Georgia. Tornado cons of two in northern Georgia. Uh, and then now it goes through South Carolina, North Carolina, and then Virginia. You have a slight risk in parts of Virginia, portions of Maryland, all of Delaware, and all of New Jersey. You have a slight risk in parts or portions of Pennsylvania. Major threats around that will be damaging wind gusts of 65 in the slight red, slight areas, hail up to ping pong ball size, isolated flooding, and isolated spin up tornadoes. Now, uh, give us your tornado count numbers for Thursday, and and uh, mine, mine are uh, four for uh, the 40 percent chance of an enhanced risk up in uh, central. Uh, northern South Carolina and in Central and Southern North Carolina, I got threes for Central uh, South Carolina, or not South Carolina and North Carolina, and twos for all the slight risk in Georgia and a one in Alabama, North Alabama. Twos for uh, uh, Pittsburgh, uh, the uh, Mid Atlantic areas, New Jersey, Philadelphia, those areas. We've got a three for Roanoke, Virginia. Those are all my uh, tour cards for the East. Let's move on to the West. We got a tour con of one in East Wyoming, a tour con of one in Northeast Colorado, twos in Kansas and Nebraska, and then a three in parts of Iowa, the Southwest Iowa, parts of Southeast Nebraska, and parts of Northwest Missouri, and parts of Northeast Kansas. And then we have twos down in Oklahoma and Texas. Is that it? Yeah. All right. So now we're going to turn back to me for Friday, June twenty first forecast. You can see, um, I had a day four forecast last night, but it got we did the video got uh, ruined. But we got you see we have a general thunderstorms outside of this. There's no blue because there's just general thunderstorms everywhere. I think there's going to be a chance, but we have a marginal risk all the way up to Minneapolis, and then this goes down to uh, Wichita, Kansas, all the way through central Nebraska, through Wichita, and then that goes over to Kentucky, through uh, southern Missouri at line, and that goes to Kentucky, up through Indiana, up through uh, Illinois, by Chicago. At Chicago, you have just general thunderstorms through parts of uh, western Wisconsin and back to Minneapolis. But then you have a, or you have tornado cons of one in parts of South Dakota, portions of Minnesota, and... Yes, but then the slight risk, which has parts portions of Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, and Illinois, and parts of Indiana and Kentucky, you have a tornado con of two in central and northern Missouri. And you also have a two in parts of uh, eastern Nebraska, or eastern Nebraska, northeastern Kansas, and southern Iowa. But then you have a one in Illinois, in central Illinois, and parts of uh, Indiana and part the portions of Kentucky that have a slight risk in them. Major threats with this will be isolated brief tornadoes, hail up to half dollars likely, damaging winds up to 65 miles per hour, and flooding possible or flooding in flood prone areas and heavier thunderstorms. All right, so now we're going to turn it over over to a Andrew for his tornado con forecasts. Okay, so I have a tour con of uh, two in uh, parts of eastern South Dakota and southern minnesota i have a three for east nebraska <coughs> and a majority of central and western iowa a four for southern iowa and northern missouri a three for the kansas city area a two for central and southern illinois and i have to go all right so he has right, to no, go no, no i don't no he doesn't okay i need to go i need to oh, go. you need to go okay so he's gone all right bye yeah. 
All right, sorry about that, everybody. But um, and so now it's just me here. We're gonna switch it to the Saturday forecast. This is what I made. This is kind of rough. This is this is what I made. This is what you see. I wrote this will change. So this is not. This is kind of gives you a rough outlook as or a rough kind of sketch of what this will look like. Sort of. Forgot to bold these words over here. I'm sorry. Didn't even do the right font. That's my bad. <laughs> but uh. uh yeah, so I have confidence was uh, kind of an issue because this is day four. And so I did not do a general thunderstorm out because it's very hard to pinpoint just exactly where there will and won't be thunderstorms. It's hard to pinpoint any chance of thunderstorms. So this is for Saturday, June 22nd, day four. Um, you see we have a marginal risk that goes down almost all the way to Oklahoma City all into the extreme portions of the northeastern Texas panhandle. And that goes through southern Missouri once again, through all the way through Kentucky to West Virginia, Columbus, Ohio. You have a marginal risk, and then Cincinnati marginal risk. That goes all the way up through almost all, all the way up through Chicago, who is in the marginal risk, and then through Des Moines, Iowa, who is in the marginal risk also. And that goes back down to Wichita. No tornado cons there, but we have a uh, slight risk here in parts of uh, eastern Kansas, through in the central and northern Missouri, southern Iowa and um, western and central Illinois. Uh, and tornado con, I put a tornado con of a one in uh, central Missouri and northern central Missouri, only by Kansas City, and this is one area because of confidence. This will change, as you see. But hail up the quarter size, likely, again, confidence, I think will be bigger, but I don't want to make this be a, this could be a bust still. So I don't want to really go too high. And then damaging winds are possible, and a few tornadoes could be possible. Because um, those numbers are on the higher side. But these work. Okay, so right now we're now we going to go check out College of Due page. And sorry I never loaded this. It's kind of an unprofessional video. But this is all I have time for. So let's check out the numerical models. And if we look at NAM. Let me zoom in on our area over, over here. The reason we're thinking about putting maybe an enhanced risk over here is because if we go to um, convective products and significant tornadoes, this is not the only reason we're thinking about putting enhanced here. This is just another one of the... But then, so look at some of these numbers over here. 4.2, 4.5, and those, those will kind of st stick there for a little bit. 5.8, 6.0, so there will be some pretty hefty numbers in southern Georgia and along this coast. So that's why we are rethinking or rethinking our slight risks over there. But that's gonna wrap up this video. Uh, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it, and I, I'm sorry this was a little bit unprofessional, but and yes, I hope you enjoyed my live stream, the live streams we have done today or we did today, and thank you for viewing them and please leave a like and. Subscribe and leave a comment down below.